it lightly. Cry out for help. Deal with it seriously. Get it diagnosed. But please, I plead with you, don't pretend that it's not there. It could be fatal. In the early stages of cancer, you can hide the symptoms. But as time goes on, it becomes more and more obvious that there's something seriously wrong. For a person who lives in self-denial, it is a tragic state to deny what is happening to them. And the same is true for pride. As it eats away our spirit, as it destroys our soul, as it deceives our mind, as it compromises our choices, if we have not dealt with it ruthlessly and aggressively and humbly, it will destroy us. And it will affect everybody around us. I remember uh, standing in the shower, of all places, when, when Sally and I were living in Holland, we were leading a training center outside of Amsterdam. And I became aware that there was something wrong in my spirit. I didn't know what it was. But I remember saying to God one day, God, I don't know what it is, but I need you. Then I made a covenant with the Lord. I said, Lord, whatever it is, and whatever it cost to deal with it, please expose it. Boy, I did not know what I was praying. Shortly after praying that, all hell broke loose in our ministry. God's loving, isn't he? Do you believe he's faithful to answer prayers like that? I can look back to that point when I said, Lord, there's something wrong. I don't know what it is. But I make a covenant with you. Whatever it is, please deal with it ruthlessly. And I ask him because I'd heard somebody pray this one time. Lord, make it quick. <laughs> Boy, did he. <laughs> I'm glad now that it was a quick work. It was hard. It was spiritually violent. But far better to have a quick, deep, ruthless work of the Holy Spirit than for something to be drug out for years and years and years because we will not deal with it. I want to tell you, Jesus is a gentle surgeon, but he'll cut it out if you ask him to. Dare we day to, today invite Jesus to be the heart surgeon, to cut out the cancer pride in our hearts? It's always there, and he's always faithful to reveal it if we'll humble ourselves and ask him to do that. We're going to go on in our other sessions and we're going to look at the symptoms of pride, the fruit, so that we might detect it, so to speak. But I don't want us to move ahead without giving an opportunity to first of all make a choice as to whether or not we want God to expose it in our hearts. I'm going to be really honest with you today. I would strongly encourage you not to come back to this next session or if you're watching on video, to watch the next video. Unless you have been willing to say to God, God, I want you to deal with my heart. To be quite honest with you, if you listen and you have not made that choice, it will lead to more deception and more hardness. Let's pray together, shall we? I recognize, Father, that I cannot, in honesty, ask others to do this unless I do it myself. And I ask you, Holy Spirit of God, to bring conviction and revelation to my own heart, to my tongue, my attitudes, my thoughts, every dimension of my relationships with my wife, my son, my daughter, everything you've given me. Turn the searchlight of your Holy Spirit upon my heart, I pray. And reveal what's there, Lord. I do not want cancer to eat away at my soul. And though it be painful, I welcome and invite your work, I pray.
And I pray above all things, Lord, that you'll show me and each one of us what pride does to your heart, how it grieves you and hurts you. How it's so foreign to you. Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. We invite you. We open our hearts to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.